All right, let's talk about the absolute crazy week I just had in bourbon hunting. This by far was just the most ludicrous week that I've ever had in hunting bourbon. And I've had some good weeks, but this week um, I'm just really excited about it. So I wanted to share with you all what I found, what I got, and kind of help you understand what videos will be coming in the next several days. So let's start. I keep looking over here because my bottles are here. Uh, let's start with, I'm just going to start with the best one and just get it out of the way. Um, this is the Maker's Mark Cellar Aged Bourbon. And, and this, the moment they announced this, this became, this just jumped right to the top of my list of bourbons that I knew I had to find this year, but I was nervous. I didn't know if I was going to find any. This is barely even out yet. And if you, if you look, it doesn't even look like many people have gotten their hands on it to review it. So I can't believe I found it. I, um, I had just finished having drinks with my dad. I had just been out hunting bourbon. My dad actually helped me on that hunt too. Uh, we grabbed a beer after, and then on the way home, I was like, let me just stop by Wine World real quick. I, did, I had no expectations. I wasn't recording anything. And I walked in and there was nobody in there. And I looked up behind the shelf and there it was. I could not believe it. It was a little over MSRP. MSRP on this bottle is 150. I paid 180. I didn't blink twice. I didn't care. The fact that I could get it and know that I secured my bottle, I was just thrilled. So this is number one on the list. This is a this is incredible. So Makers is. I'm just gonna go into just a little bit of detail and then I'll do a full video on this very soon. But it came with this really cool. I'll, I'll put this up in the video so you can actually see it but it's got a, like this card that came with it. I don't know if this comes with all of them, but the guy behind the counter was like, hey, do you want this card that came in the box that they came in? I was like, absolutely, I want this card. And it tells you, it gives you all the information about, about the barrels that it came from. It is actually really cool. So this one, 87% of 12 year old barrels and 13% of 11 year old barrels. And then it gives you all, all this other information. Like I said, I'll take a picture and put it up in the video so you can see it. Um, really really cool um this was the one i was most excited about so i'm gonna go and put this one on the fancy pedestal here it deserves its spot all right where do we go next let's talk about a couple of others that were a little more rare that i was a little more surprised to find so let's start with 2xo series this stands for two times oak and this is a series this is a distillery that dixon deadman started um, he's the one who kind of took uh, kentucky owl into their level of popularity that they are now he ventured off did his own thing so uh very good at what he does i had not even heard that they were releasing this bottle this had an msrp of 50 dollars. i found it at total wine i just was on it just went there on a random day could not believe I found it. I didn't even know it was out yet. So I haven't seen anybody review this yet. So in the next day or two, uh, you'll see a review on this. You can see I actually already opened it up. So stay tuned for that review. Next on the list while we're doing the 2XO, I think this was a mistake. I was excited to find this. This is the Tribute Blend by Dixon Deadman, another 2XO bottle. Uh, this bottle, I can't even find information about it on their website yet. And I found one other website that was taking orders for it, but they were saying pre-order only for the end of September. So I haven't seen any reviews on this, so I, I couldn't even believe it was there. It was the last bottle on the shelf, uh, $99.99, so $100 MSRP. I'll have a review on this bottle in the next couple of days too. Looking forward to that. All right, next we have another find from Total Wine. Uh, this was, I found this one on a different day, still Austin. Uh, I have never had a Texas bourbon before, so this will be my first one. I've heard mixed things about Still Austin, but this is their, let's see, cask strength single barrel bottle. It was the last one left, and I got a discount on it too. I got like, a, I think maybe 10% or $10 off, something like that, uh, because Total Wine had it on their select spirits or something like that. So single barrel cask strength. I know that they're doing their own thing. They're Still Austin. I've heard good things. I've heard mixed things. Um, my buddy Riley has said he actually didn't like this bottle very much. So we'll see. We'll see if it's any good, but I was excited to find it. Nonetheless, I figured this would be a good starting point to try out some still Austin bourbon. My dad was in Georgia recently and I, I asked him, I said, Hey, if you see any 13th colony bourbon, please grab me a bottle. I've not had it yet. So 13th colony is a distillery out of Georgia. 
uh, America's Georgia. I think I'm actually going to try and go do a tour there soon. That's the goal. My wife and I, uh, this, I've heard great things about 13th Colony. Now their double oaked bottle is the one that people are raving about. I, I heard a guy the other day say it was the best bottle of bourbon he's ever had. So I hope to get my hands on that bottle later this year when it comes out. But this is the 13th Colony bourbon and my dad brought it back to me. So shout out to my dad. I appreciate this bottle very much. And I'll be doing a video on this one soon too, I'm sure. All right, next we have Barrel King. And this was a bottle that the bourbon junkies the bourbon hand junkies. selected, I guess, or they tasted it at Barrel King. I'd never even heard of Barrel King before. And the bourbon junkies went and did some tasting and worked with the blender there and actually created this bottle. It's got this cool label on the back here, King Slayer. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but I'll put a picture up so you can see it. Uh, I, I'm excited to try it. So I um, I was a Patreon of Bourbon Junkies. They did a release of this to their Patreon members. It was expensive. It was 150 bucks. I ordered this a few weeks ago, but it just came in the mail this past week. So that's why I'm putting it on, on the list for this week. Uh, I'm excited to try it. So I'll try it. I'll do a, a video review of it, let you know how I think it is. Uh, but we'll see. This was a, you know, a pricey bottle from Barrel King, and it's not something you would find in stores. I think to even buy Barrel King bottles. I think you have to go to their website, join a membership and do all this other stuff. So I, I've heard good things. So we'll see how it is. I'm gonna do a couple here, uh, a twofer for this next one. So I went to ABC, uh, not to be confused with the ABC stores that you might find in states that are uh, liquor stores are run by the state. This is actually the ABC here in Florida. I like going there. They had both of these Redwood Empires there and I could not resist. I've heard really good things about the Rocket Top. I've heard really good things about the Grizzly Beast. The Rocket Top is a straight rye and the Grizzly Beast is a straight bourbon. Redwood Empire is doing some really interesting things. Their Lost Monarch, just the typical normal Lost Monarch, I found that to be delicious. And I love their transparency. There's so much information on the back of these bottles and I'll put the picture up so you can see, but very transparent about what this is. And I, like I said, I've heard really good things. These both came in at $80 a piece and I am very excited to try these bottles. So I'll let you know what I think about them. Next up, Blood Oath Pact 9. I have never had a Blood Oath bourbon whiskey before. Uh, I've heard good things. It's very hard to find. And so I was not necessarily searching for this, but I went into what is probably my favorite local liquor store, walked in and there it was sitting on the counter. And I was, you know, I contemplated for a minute. I wasn't sure if that was something I wanted to do. It's a little pricey, $127, uh, which was even a little below MSRP. But uh, Blood Oath is, is a really, I mean, it's a beautiful box, first of all. And then you can see the bourbon in here too. Straight bourbon whiskey finished in Oloroso. I think I'm saying that word right, Sherry Cass. So I... I'm just excited to try this. It, it, I, I hear mixed things about it, but it's one of those bourbons where I never see it. It's, it's hard to find, it's rare, and I think it's gonna be worth just trying. So I'm excited to try this one and just see what all the what all the hype is about. Is this a good bourbon or is it one that, you know, they put in a pretty box and it's kind of a gimmick? We'll find out. All right, next up, I was so excited for this. So this is an Eagle Rare single barrel select store pick handpicked by perdido liquors um fifty dollars it was incredible so they did uh, perdido liquors is amazing so it's a store here in pensacola uh, they posted on facebook that they were getting this in that they had them i drove down they had tons of, of cases of these they had a lot and they didn't last 24 hours of course i mean they were gone by the next afternoon and rightfully so. So uh, the, the initial reviews of these are that it's just Eagle Rare, just better, which is what I expected. So this is the third one they've done, but this is the first one that I've ever gotten. So I love Eagle Rare. It's one of my favorite, just kind of standard bourbons, I guess. I don't wanna call it standard. It's hard to find. Eagle Rare is hard to find, but I try and keep a couple on hand at all times because I just love it. It's delicious. So to have a single barrel of it, I'm just, I'm thrilled. So I cannot wait to dive into this one and try it. And then we have Stag. And this is not just any Stag. This is a single barrel select, another single barrel select Buffalo Trace product this week. I don't know what was going on with Buffalo Trace this week, but they were popping up everywhere. I mean, Eagle Rares, Buffalo Trace, I mean, it was just, I don't know, the floodgates opened on Buffalo Trace stuff this week, at least here in Pensacola. So um, 
I, I've been looking for a stag since, and it's a stag junior, but it's just stag. They got rid of the junior. I, I've been looking for this since I, just forever. I've never seen one, never found one. This was, I think, 70 or $80 for a single barrel stag. I, I mean, kudos to Fusion, right? So Fusion did these. Uh, they posted on Facebook that they were gonna release them at 2 p.m. And I, it was funny. I was uh, texting my buddy Riley. I was like, hey man, what do you think? It, you know, are you gonna go get one? He's like, absolutely. I was like, what time are you gonna go? And he's like, well, probably at around one. And I was like, oh wow, I wasn't gonna go to like 1.30. And then I looked on Facebook and people were saying they were driving by the store, you know, three hours before at like 11 a.m. And people were already lining up. And so at this point it's almost noon. And so I was texting Riley. I was like, dude, I think we gotta go now. And so we did. So we went, I was the ninth person in line. Uh, stood in line for a couple hours. I've never done that before for a bourbon. I've never stood in line and waited, but it was a lot of fun. I mean, I had a great time. So it was a rainy day and I didn't have an umbrella. So I was hoping they were not gonna make us wait outside. And thankfully they did not. We lined up in the store and it was just, it was a, just a super nice group of people and other bourbon enthusiasts that were there. So the conversation was great. We were having a great time. Time went by really fast. And then I got a, um, I got my very first stack for I think 70 or 80 bucks. I can't remember, but whatever it was, I mean, what a great price on a single barrel select stag. Uh, I will be opening this one pretty soon and doing just my thoughts on it. I, I'm, I'm just so thrilled to finally have a stag added to the collection. So that was this week's bourbon haul. And it, it's, it's a lot, <laughs> it's more, uh, more than I've ever done before. And I know I have family and friends watching this, so um, don't be alarmed. This is not an every week occurrence. This was a one off. This was this was quite the week of bourbon hunting. I, I could not believe everything I was finding. So it started with just some kind of simple, normal finds that I would get in a week and then ended with the craziness that was the Eagle Rare and, and the Stag. And then, of course, the, uh, you know, the Maker's Mark Celeraged and all. I just really happy and excited to have had a great week of, of uh, bourbon hunting. This is what it's all about, you know, is finding these rare bottles and, and having fun and, and, and being with other bourbon enthusiasts and finding these bottles and having a good time with it. And now we get to crack them open and enjoy them. So it was a lot of fun. Thanks for watching this video. I am excited to share the upcoming videos with you guys. I've got just so many great bourbons to taste and to try and to review. So in the next couple of days, for sure, Keep an eye out for this Maker's Mark Celerase. I'm gonna give my first impressions, thoughts, reviews on that one in the next couple of days, along with those two XOs, because I don't see reviews anywhere. And I know people are gonna to wanna to know, um, you know what people are thinking about them and if they're worth getting. So keep an eye out in the next couple of days for reviews on that too. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.